Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. I'm really excited for today's video. The beer is courtesy of the brewery. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's part of their Reserve Society. So if you didn't catch my unboxing video, uh, they reached out and they said, hey, you know, we have a, a closing window for 2023's Reserve Society. We'd love to send you three beers in a glass uh, and have you talk about it. Because they had seen a recent video that I did with the guys at FLX Beer Reviews where we compared, what was it, Mocha Wednesday. I just remember that one because it was my favorite beer that whole weekend. We had this like, big beer festival, um, Beer Tuber Palooza. And uh, what was it, Grey Monday maybe was the other beer? But anyway, loved them both. But Mocha Wednesday was the best beer I had all, all weekend. Anyway, so when they reached out, I'm like, yeah, I love the brewery. <laughs> like, uh, I've reviewed many of their beers, and I, I love getting them and, and drinking them. So I was like, yeah, I'd love to do that. So if you guys are interested in their Reserve Society, I will link to it in the description box below. All right, so this is the first one I'm reviewing. Uh, it is We All Scream Blended Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout with Strawberries, Cacao Nibs, and Madagascar Vanilla Beans. 15.3% ABV. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Um, all right. I scream, you scream, we all scream for this ice cream inspired stout. We started with a melange of barrel aged imperial stouts, then added cacao nibs, Madagascar vanilla beans, and strawberries for the perfect Neapolitan treatment in the same vein as our 2021 Scoop, 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 and 2022's First. Uh, sweet, rich, and decadent. Add a cherry on top to this Sunday and dig in. Uh, it's 15.3 if I didn't say that already. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. Um, I've had a decent number of Neapolitan stouts, but I don't think I've ever had a barrel-aged one. Um, and when I say a decent number, I mean like four, maybe. <laughs> so I guess it's not a decent number. Um, but I do love like those flavors together. And there's a reason that that ice cream endures. So yeah, I'm really excited for this one. This glass is so, I love this glass so much. All right, so, yo. I can smell a strawberry already. I, I kind of, if I, hmm, I thought the strawberry would be very muted. But yeah, there's like a really nice strawberry. You know what it smells like already? I haven't even talked about the, what the beer looks like. It reminds me of those um, ice cream bars that have like the strong strawberry crumb, like cake crumb on the outside. Because um, you're getting like a nice vanilla as well. I'm not getting any chocolate yet, but like definitely that vanilla strawberry, strawberry cream sickle kind of a thing. But anyway, um, it's a pretty darn dark beer. Um, I don't know if I've had... I, I watched a video. It wasn't about this beer. But uh, I'm used to Black Tuesday, which is usually closer to 20%. And I see that they developed a different stout base that seems to be around 15% for some of these other barrel-aged beers. So this might be a, a really new experience for me, not just because the Neapolitan ice cream inspired flavors, but even the base uh, stout might be new to me. Uh, it's really dark. Um, there was some head, of course I talked too much, so that went away, but given the adjuncts and the ABV, you know, the, the head was there for a while, some lacing, not surprised there, a little bit of stuff sticking to the side, not a ton of, um, I'm sorry, there's some legs, but yeah, not a ton of lacing. Um, let's get to the aroma. Once I stick my nose into it, I do get a little bit more, well, I, I shouldn't even say more, I do get a little bit of chocolate and like stout. But like when I first opened it and poured it, uh, you know, from far away before I put my nose in it, that strawberry and vanilla in the best possible way is very forward. And it, do, it, it does smell deserty and decadent a thousand percent over. I'm really surprised how much strawberry I'm getting. Good level of vanilla. That doesn't surprise me. And then, yeah, in third place is, is the chocolate stout part of the show. I mean, a little bit of bourbon, too. It, it, you know, ah, here we go. You ever had, like, those ad adult milkshakes where, like, essentially it's just a milkshake and you put, like, a shot of bourbon or something in it? That's really what this smells like slightly in beer form. They said that good in. It smells that good in. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, the brewery. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I 
should probably talk about if I really wanted another sip already. Um, all right, let, let's talk about it. Wow. <laughs> so the first thing in the taste, the chocolate definitely more pronounced than what I got in the aroma. Um, and the chocolate with the base stout like are for sure there. So as much as the aroma was, I mean, between the strawberry and vanilla, it's probably like 80, 85% of what I was smelling. Let's say 80, could be a little bit of bourbon in there as well with some chocolate and a little bit of base stout. So yeah, like 80% in the aroma, whereas that's not the case here. The strawberry and vanilla is not 80% of what I'm tasting. Um, so it's, it's much more nuanced and balanced. I can't believe I'm saying nuanced and balanced in this beer because it's also gonzo with like just huge expressive flavors. But you're getting more of all three things that you want to be getting in this beer because of what the beer is uh, versus the aroma where you are not getting all three. You're really getting two, you know, really strong. And again, like I love that aroma. Like it's not a knock, but like, man, I love chocolate too. Taste, you get some chocolate. So no worries there. I mean, that, that, hmm, the level of strawberry, I, I just don't, it's almost jammy. Like, I don't think, this, ha again, I haven't had a ton of this style, as I said earlier. New Glarus's strawberry rhubarb, I'm trying to think of, I'm not going to list every strawberry beer, but like, I, I haven't had a ton, a ton of strawberry beers, besides the New Glarus one. I usually don't get this much strawberry, so this is really blowing my mind in the best possible way. This base stout, really, really nice base for a sweeter, you know, pastry kind of stout that this is going for. Really impressive, nice viscosity. Um, you know, it's not full on syrupy, but like it's on the way towards that, you know? And because that strawberry, and again, I mean, it's in the best possible possible way, is so expressive. The vanilla is helping increase the barrel character, in my opinion. You do get specifically vanilla, but <clears throat> it really ties it to the barrel. Because you do get the bourbon, like bourbon, in, in, like in the taste of bourbon, you get some wood, fair enough. But like with the barrel aging, with the beer, you can get more of the barrel plus barrelness from the bourbon probably right so like that vanilla helps tie it to the barrel specifically not that that's you know like i was saying before about like like uh, a popsicle stick or a pop eating a popsicle or like those ice creams on a stick it's not woody enough like where you're sucking the stick at the end of it um but yeah you do get a little bit of barrel long way of saying the vanilla helps you get some of that barrel more than i think you would if the vanilla was not in this beer um the chocolate i don't know i, I don't know what the base tastes like i, I think Similar things happen with the chocolate with just like the base stout, like it's just helping it fight through the Neapolitan piece. And when I say fight through, because the Neapolitan piece is so large and then you can tell like this base stout is also so large and then you have all the blending with the barrels, which is so large. So again, like it was weird earlier I said like balance because these are things that don't seem to be balanced, like huge ice cream kind of flavors with bourbon flavors with stout flavors excuse me so like i think it is worth noting for what this beer is decent amount of balance which is really cool uh it's sweet in a good way not for me it definitely doesn't go cloningly sweet you know you go into a beer like this that's trying to be like ice cream hopefully a smart person right would be like well yeah i think this is going to be a sweet beer and then you're going to be rewarded with being smart and be like oh yeah this tastes sweet like i thought it would but it's not like oh too sweet i don't know i love <laughs> I'm really liking this beer. And the strawberry, you, for me, and again, it's not, they're not trying to make it taste exactly like ice cream, but the way the strawberry hits, you know what really reminds me of because the sweetness of the beer behind it is more like that strawberry reduction, like in a strawberry syrup with chunks of strawberries that you'd put on top of ice cream. It really hits me more like that kind of strawberry um, than again, like a faint strawberry, you know, note. Um, so that part is very like, like sugary strawberry. 
and I'm here for it. <laughs> like, I love sweet things. If you uh, don't watch a lot of my reviews of uh, sweeter beers, I'm all sweet teeth. You know, some people have a sweet tooth. Not me. All of them are sweet tooth. So they're all sweet teeth. Um, so keep that in mind. But I really, if you're going into this beer being like, I want a pastry style, I think you're just going to be like, yeah, this is exactly the kind of thing I want. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty blown away right now. That strawberry and some of the other stuff going on in this beer, too. It's funny because they mentioned put a cherry on top. I do get like a little bit of cherry thing, which you can get barrel-aged, you know, bourbon barrel-aged stout. Pretty easy to get a cherry note. I, I do get some cherry. I think the strawberry is helping me think cherry. And yeah, the, the, again, this adult milkshake thing, like there's just enough bourbon, you know, where it's not like if you're going to make one of those, again, like quote-unquote, it sounds so stupid to say, but like these adult milkshakes... It's not like you put half ice cream, half whiskey in it, you know? And, and that's how this is drinking. It's not like those flavors are half the beer and then straight bourbon is the other half, you know? But there is just a little, like that shot of bourbon kind of mentality. All these other nice flavors going, including again, the base beer. And that there's just enough bourbon. It's adding another layer. I, I mean, I really like this beer. I, I said in the unboxing video, you know, I got a couple other brewery beers that, I, that were not sent to me by the brewery. I am a fan of this brewery. This is not me blowing smoke. I love this beer. I, I got a, one of them over here from Mike from Nerd Sense because he's a member of this society. And uh, we're going to do, we've done one already. This is a, that, that's a Black Tuesday Scotch aged um, that uh, him, Sean, and I are going to do at some point. We've already done one of them. But anyway, I am a fan of this brewery and it's nice that this beer delivered. And uh, yeah, I, when you, if you watch the unboxing, you saw I was most excited for the uh, vanilla va, va, vanilla villain. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say. Um, so I'm trying to save that for last. And uh, this was a really good first. I'll put it that way. So yeah, thanks again, the brewery. I really appreciate it. If you guys are interested in this society, again, I'll link to them in the description box below. I don't make any money if you do sign up or don't sign in. Don't sign up or, if, you know, it's, I'm saying this not the right way. If you sign up for it, I don't make any money. This is not paid advertising. They sent me three beers in the glass. That is true, but um, this praise is earned. Well done, the brewery. If you had this beer before, have you had anything else from the brewery ever you want to talk about, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. There's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.